Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this C programming and data structures lecture. This is part 5 of reversing a stack using two temporary stacks. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will try to understand the concept of pass by reference in terms of pointers. Okay. Instead of passing the pointer itself to the functions, we will pass the address of the pointers, also called as pass by reference. Understand this, that in this presentation, we will learn what is the concept of pass by reference in terms of pointers. Okay. What do we mean by pass by reference in pointers? Now here, instead of passing the pointer itself, which is pass by value, we will pass the address of the pointers, which is called pass by reference. Let's see one example to better understand the concept of pass by reference in pointers. Let us assume that we are available with this main function and we already know this, that execution always starts from the main function. In this main function, I have declared a variable val and to this variable val, I'm assigning this value 35. So here is how our variable looks like. Okay, this is the pictorial representation of variable val and to this variable, I'm assigning this value 35 as you can see this over here. After this, we have a pointer PTR, which is a pointer to an integer. How to read this? PTR is a pointer to an integer. Now, after this step, obviously, one pointer is declared and currently there is nothing inside this pointer, right? This pointer is PTR and you can see this. This is the pictorial representation of pointer PTR. After this, we have this step PTR equal to ampersand val. What do we mean by this? Here we are trying to assign the address of this variable to this PTR. Obviously we can do this, right? Val is a variable of type integer, right? And here this pointer must point to some integer. Therefore, we can assign the address of this variable to this pointer. There is no doubt about this. Let us assume that the address of this variable val is 1000. Okay, so we can put this address that is 1000 inside PTR. And this is possible because we have executed this line of code that is PTR equal to ampersand val. After this, we have this printf function and with the help of this printf function, we are trying to print one decimal value. Of course, this means that we are trying to print some integer value, right? And here you can see this is star PTR. What do we mean by this? We are trying to dereference this pointer, right? If we simply write PTR over here, then this will print 1000 instead of 35 but after putting star in front of it actually we are trying to access what is there inside this address 1000 we know that the address 1000 belongs to this variable this is the address of this variable val right now with the help of star ptr we are trying to access this value and here with the help of printf function we are trying to print this value onto the screen and this is how the output looks like so the output of this program is of course 35 but wait we are not done with this program yet. After this printf function, we have this change val function as well. Now, as the name itself suggests, we are trying to change the value of this variable. Isn't that so? And to this change val function, we are trying to pass this pointer ptr, which means we are passing the value of this ptr. This is passed by value. So here, to this function, we are passing this address 1000, right? And this is how our change val function looks like. I have moved the variables over here at the bottom and this is our function change val and you can see the parameter of this change val function here we have int star ptr we have a pointer which is local to this change val function remember this that this pointer is not same as this pointer okay they both are different i have mentioned this already in the previous presentations as well you must remember this all the time here this is a pointer to an integer of course because we are passing the address of some integer, right? There must be a pointer which will receive this address. That's why I have declared a pointer which must point to some integer. So here this pointer will receive the address 1000, right? After this, you can clearly see this that in this change val function, I have declared a variable val2. And to this variable, I'm assigning this value 46, right? And you can clearly see this that this variable is local to this function. Then after this step, I have written this step PTR equals to ampersand val2. I am trying to change this with the address of this variable val2. Let us assume that the address of val2 is 2000. Therefore, this address will get replaced by the address 2000. There is no doubt about this, right? Now, we will definitely return back to the main function. And this means we will return to this point. Printf percentage %d star PTR. Now, 
you can clearly see this that the ptr is not updated because here we are passing the value and not the address of the pointer so changes will never reflect over here right if we try to dereference this pointer we will get this value 35 once again therefore the output is 35 35 correct here this is passed by value understand this here we are not passing the address of the pointer we are passing this address the value of the pointer and this pointer will receive this value actually the address right and later on if we try to change this pointer over here then the changes will never get reflected back over here right this is very important for us to understand you have passed the address of the val and not the address of the pointer right that is why changes will not be reflected in the ptr pointer of the main function understand this right now we will pass the address of the pointer ptr now instead of passing the value we will pass the address of the pointer ptr okay and let's see whether the changes will get reflected over here or not here instead of passing ptr we will pass the address of ptr now we already know how to pass the address of a pointer we just have to put ampersand in front of it right now this time we are passing the address of ptr that's why it is called address of operator right now here this pointer will receive this address but understand this this pointer is a pointer to an integer okay but we want a pointer to a pointer isn't that so here we are passing the address of the pointer and we are not passing the address of the variable that is why it is important to put one more star over here now what does it mean this is called a double pointer right this pointer is called the double pointer understand this that this pointer is a double pointer which means that this pointer is actually a pointer to a pointer okay and that pointer is nothing but a pointer to an integer okay this is how you can read this ptr is a pointer to a pointer and that pointer is a pointer to an integer fine i hope this is clear to you now in order to avoid the confusion i am going to change this to ptr1 okay i have changed the name to avoid the confusion okay double pointer is nothing but a pointer to a pointer you must always remember that right now here you can see that ptr is a pointer to this variable val you can see this over here ptr is a pointer to an integer and after this you can see this that ptr has been assigned with the address of the val which means the address of this variable val that is why this pointer is the pointer to this variable val after this we have this ptr1 pointer which is a pointer to this pointer i am assuming here that the address of this pointer is 500 that is why this pointer ptr1 will store the address 500 because the address of this pointer ptr is 500 okay now here i have declared a variable val2 and i am assigning 46 to it this is the pictorial representation of val2 after this i am trying to put the address of val2 in ptr1 but this is not allowed because ptr1 is a pointer to a pointer and it is not a pointer to an integer that's why we cannot assign the address of this integer to ptr1 but here we can put a star in front of this ptr1 and now this is a valid statement because here we are trying to assign the address of this variable val2 to star ptr1 which means that we are trying to access this pointer through this pointer star ptr1 ptr1 gives this address and star means dereferencing which means we will get to this point that is we will get to this pointer and with the help of this ptr1 actually we are trying to access this pointer ptr this means that we are trying to store the address of this variable val2 inside ptr and not ptr1 okay if we simply write ptr1 then we are trying to put the address of val2 inside ptr1 but after putting star in front of ptr1 what we are doing here is that we are trying to access this pointer instead of this pointer fine so here we'll put the address of val2 inside ptr pointer fine now this pointer is pointing to this variable val2 now it is making sense to you right 
with the help of this pointer we are trying to access this pointer which is actually local to this main function now it is making sense what is the difference between pass by value and pass by reference in case of pointers right here with the help of this pointer we are accessing this pointer and we are making changes to this pointer directly in this change val function right here we just have to put star in front of ptr1 in order to access this pointer because we know that this pointer is pointing to this pointer if you want to access this we have to put star in front of ptr1 that's it this is the simple thing we must understand fine after this if we return back here we know that this pointer is currently pointing to this variable val2 hence this time the output is 35 and 46 right i hope this whole idea of double pointer is clear to you double pointer is a pointer to a pointer you can see this this pointer is pointing to this pointer and how to read this ptr1 is a pointer to a pointer and this pointer is a pointer to an integer you can see this this pointer is a pointer to an integer fine i hope this whole idea is clear to you now let's execute this code in code blocks here you can see this is the complete code we have change val function and we have a main function right everything is same as what we have seen in the presentation let's execute this code you can see the output 35 and 46 and process returned 0 which means successful execution right in the next lecture we will apply the concept of double pointers in our program of reversing the stack okay so i'll see you in the next presentation